Hi. Good day. Good day. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I am 100% Clayton Schick. This is 100% the outdoors. I am 100% lake trout fishing today, and the 100% is exactly what I'm gonna give it today. I've got a full day, about 11 hours of fishing outside. It's a little bit chillier now. Okay, no Clayton, it's not chillier. It's chillier than what it's gonna get. It's minus two, that's warm. It's supposed to get to six degrees today Celsius. That is this much in Fahrenheit. And yes, a little bit windier maybe, but when it's that warm, we'll definitely be okay. We've got tools right beside us, pliers, bump board. We will be fishing, like I said, outside the whole day, trying to crush lake trout. Just trying to make it happen. Full day, full day. Let's see as many as we can get. We're gonna hit a bunch of different spots. We're gonna try some different depths, structure. Right now, I'm kind of like in a little bit of a trough here. I've got, I'm in a 60 foot hole, and then up behind me, it gets shallower. And then actually, I'm probably closer to the deepest area of this little trough. I don't think there's much for deep water on this side of me. I can't remember for sure. It's been a while since I've been here in this area. So yeah, let's see what we can see what we can make happen. Savage Gear Sand Eel, great bait, really good bait for Lakers. Love it, going with the big size. I believe it's a seven incher. Going with the slugger rod from Frostbite. 46 inch heavy. What was that? We'll probably be okay. We'll probably be okay. If anybody can suggest really comfortable like turtlenecks to, to fish in, drop your comment below. I would like a really comfortable turtleneck. And something like with a, a thinner material still, but something that just comes up here so I can not have like a little gap in my neck because, well, a, it looks dumb, and B, you just get a little chill there once in a while. So comfortable turtle, I don't mean like a turtle like, like chokes you out, like something comfortable. Let me know. Little guy. Said I was gonna give each spot like, at the most an hour if I don't catch anything, but maybe less if I don't mark anything either. He's chasing though. But it's been a half hour here. I finally got a mark. He's on it. He's just small. He's just small. Well, half hour at the first spot, one small mark. We're gonna make a move. I don't know how long, I might spend longer at some spots, especially if I mark fish or something like that, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it right now. So we'll make a, we'll make a little adjustment. Oh, 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 oh. This fish is definitely interested. Okay, come on. Oh, ah, he bumped it. I don't think he's very big. Hard to tell, actually. Come on. Come on. Super aggressive, though. Like, in terms of, like, coming at the bait quick. No dice. No dice. Slow start to my day. Couple marks. That's it. Okay, time for another spot. Couple marks here but not aggressive at all. Like, I shouldn't say not aggressive, not eating. They, they've kind of chased the bait around a little bit, but just couldn't get them to seal the deal. So I don't know what's going on right now, if it's barometer, air pressure, time of day, what, but just got to keep slugging away. Even try to spoon for a while here, nothing yet. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get them. At some point today, we're gonna catch some fish. Come on, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him, got him. Finally got one to eat. Took a little while. Don't think it's that big. Uh, it's not small. Nah, it's hard to tell. Doesn't feel that big. Doesn't feel that big. Too head shaky. Head shakes are too quick in between. I want to feel like a whoomp, whoomp, a whoomp, whoomp, not bup, 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 bup. Get our transducer pop though. First one of the day though, which is obviously always a good sign, right? It's 11 o'clock. So we fished for two hours already. This is our first fish we've actually hooked up to. We've had some other other small bites, some fish chase, but it's definitely not that big. Gotta watch, I got a flying hook there. 
Definitely not big. Come on, buddy. Easy. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's a little guy. Okay. Little guy. Be a good eater. At some point, we'll do his catch and cook here on the ice, but probably not today. Probably not today. Something. Took a while to get a fish to eat today, that's for sure. The Savage Gear sand deals are like so nice. You jig them on the bottom and just reel slow and that tail just goes tup, 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 as you're reeling. And I like watching the lake trout gain speed on them and you're just like waiting for your rod just to go. So this is my third spot and I've tried in 60, 60 ish, 40 ish, and now I'm actually in 80. And this is a little even different than the other two spots that I fished. I'm kind of like in a, a trough here in the sense of I got a shallow spot here and a shallow spot here and I'm in the middle down here. I got like a kind of like a trough. So I'm trying in there right now to see if maybe they're a bit deeper today. I'm not sure, but I never marked a lot in the first spot. Second spot, I marked a couple in the 40 foot. So who knows where they can be? Like I've mentioned in other videos before, man, Lake Trout literally can be anywhere, like anywhere. Oh, he hit it when I was dropping down. <laughs> He hit it when I was dropping down. Oh. Okay, well we're on to we're on to some fish anyway. We're on to some fish. Had my drag a little bit loose from fighting that fish before. I like to keep my drag fairly tight for the hook set and then back it off as I'm fighting the fish, but it worked though anyway. Sharp sticky hooks will will help no matter what. But anyways, fish number two. It feels pretty small. It feels pretty small. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Easy. Ooh, a dark one. A dark one. Easy. And there's lots of snow. They're banging that slush around like crazy. Easy. Easy. Little dark guy for fish too. Definitely small. Definitely small. Or smallish, I should say. Those are small ones, for sure. Okay, time for another spot. This is spot three. We caught two fish out of here, so we're off to a decent start now, but it's still, I don't know, there's still not a lot of action around here, so let's go to spot four. Okay. Do it. Spot four. Are those fish? I think those are fish as I was dropping down already. Come on. Come on. Mm, got him. Got him. Nice. Having a little pepperoni stick. And we got hooked up. We got hooked up. I don't think it's very big. Don't think it's very big. But, ooh, a little bit closer to the hole right here. Don't think it's very big. But it's something. It's something. It's right at the bottom of the hole. I can tell because my leader knot's right there. And there it comes up the hole. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Biggest one of the day. But still, nothing. Nothing to call home about. Okay. Got the hook out, slush out of them. I like to get the slush out of their mouth because those the slush can cut their keels up. So we'll get this back pretty quick. But a little bit better, like 27-ish. We're getting we're getting better. We're getting better. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Okay, so talked a little bit what I was using earlier. This is called a sand eel from Savage Gear. This is a seven-inch. I use the seven-inch as well as the six-inch ones. Uh, really just a little bit bigger profile with the bigger bait. As you can see though, they don't come with a hook on the bottom, a treble hook. But what I do is I put a split ring on the bottom here and then I add a treble hook on the bottom. Now I've been using, I've been playing around with these new hooks from Savage Gear called Grip Treble. So far, I'm super impressed. It's way different than your normal treble because it doesn't have a solid ring. It has kind of like a, some type of wire here and it'll twist. And what this will do is it'll 
keep twisting on you and the fish can't get as much leverage to throw a hook. When they can twist that treble and put pressure and apply pressure against that split ring, that's how they can gain leverage and they can pop hooks. So I'm still playing with them. So far they've been really good. I haven't had any break yet. That's one of my only concerns with them for sure, as I've probably talked about in the past or I will talk about in the future again. So far so good though. But what I like about these sand eels, um, they, they act a lot like a tube jig instead of, and, and, and yeah, they act a lot like a tube jig in terms of they're really flighty, like you pop them and they'll glide to side, side, side. But you can do a slow retrieve with them. And as it's coming up like this, the tail just does a flip, 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 flip. Seem to catch a lot of fish as I'm reeling away from them. And the smaller ones I'll have problems with. Sometimes they'll come up and maybe they'll bite the end of the tail off. But the bigger ones, there's no problem at all. I just saw a mark flash in it. Just below the ice, about 12 feet. I'm gonna drop down real quick and see if he's still in the area. I just saw it flash in there. But these grip trebles are pretty neat. Okay, this is where I saw the mark was around this 12 feet here. I'm gonna jig here a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. I thought I saw a mark flash in as I was talking. Oh, didn't connect. <laughs> had a bad, had a bad awkward angle with my hand beside me, but I don't think it was very big, but I thought I saw a mark just flashing into my flasher as I was talking to the camera. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go, come on. Got him, got him. Get him another one, give him another one. Give him another one, Clayton. Give him another one. Give him another one for good, good measures. Let's get him, let's get him. Let's get him, let's get him. Ooh. I'm trying not to pull my depth finder into the, into the lake. Let's get him. Well, some action anyway. Small guys, small guys. But we'll get some. We'll get some nicer fish at some point yet today, hopefully. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. I'll just let you... S Here. I'll, let you, I'll help you turn around right in the hole. I won't even show you off. We'll just help, help you turn it around. Here. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. See ya. See ya. There's no slush when it starts. Well, when they come up, though, the water hits around that snow. If I were to clean off the edge of my hole, which might be a better bet, a better bet is just to kind of shovel around a little bit there. He won't knock slush into the hole, but lighten it up. The small ones. I'm dropping down. I'm yelling timber. I got a mark near the bottom. Let's see what happens when I drop down. Can you even see my, I can't tell if you can see my head in the frame. Oh, time to make a, another little move. We're gonna go to spot five where it, or was it spot one, two, yeah. One, two, three, four. We fished four spots and caught four fish. Two at one spot and two at another. So far small. Just keep moving around. Won't get a good one yet today. I got a good feeling. In my opinion, there's like two ways to fish lake trout. Run and gun or sit in one spot all day and wait for them to come to you. Both work. I like to do both. I like to obviously sit in one spot when it's colder out and when it's nicer out. I like to move around lots. So let's go keep doing. We're gonna try something a little bit steeper structure this time. Oh nice, right off the bottom. I didn't even mark him. Like I had maybe mentioned I was fishing something just a little bit steeper. And oh what's going on? And uh the the structure I'm on, a little bit steeper. So I never even marked my jig off the bottom. I don't know if there's another fish following me or he's just burping that much. He's just burping that much, I think. It's not very big, but that was crazy. Didn't even mark him. So all of a sudden he picked it right up off the bottom. Cause it's steeper. Don't make a mess in my hole, my friend, please. I would appreciate you not to do that right now. I don't want him to make a mess cause I don't want everything to get wet. Yeah, not big. Not big, but we knew that. We knew that. Fish five, eat it right off the bottom. Fish five again, little guy, squirmy. Whoa, <laughs> you silly goose, you, you got my flasher wet. That's been the story of the day, getting my flasher wet. I gotta clean the screen again. Right on the bottom, never marked them. Never even marked them. After I'm done fighting the fish, 
I think to myself, okay, what did you really talk about when you're fighting that fish? And I think I just didn't really make much sense. I think I just babbled about a bunch of nothingness because there was so much going on. My mind was thinking one thing, my mouth was saying another, but I was on a really steep incline and I probably have, let's see here, I don't see my jig right now, I'm not on the bottom. I have about a, a foot and a half, two foot dead zone because I'm on that incline. So it's marking 17 foot diameter. If I went to uh, a smaller cone angle, which I could, I would be able to uh, probably mark or have a smaller dead zone, I should say. But I'm I'm okay with it. Most of the, the bigger fish could possibly follow me up a little bit anyway. So yeah, it's all good. A little bit of dead zone. It's all good. One right past him to the bottom. Oh, you like that? A couple jigs. The bottom, and I'm gonna reel it here. Here he comes. Got him. Got him. Like I said, it looked like a decent mark, but hard to tell. Doesn't feel big though at all. Feels feels smaller. My drag, drag is cranked for the hook set, so I don't want to lose him on the hook set. And I do have. Oh, he's maybe a little bit better. He's putting up a decent fight right now. I don't think he's he's big though, but he's a little bit better. I'm just gonna reach over and grab my transducer right away. Oh, almost fell in the hole. Almost fell in the hole. We're good though. We're good though. He's fighting right here. I got my drag cranked for that hook set. I like having a strong, strong drag on that hook set. Is that the hole here coming up right away? There he is, yeah. Nothing special. Hook came out, but I don't think he can turn himself around there, buddy, can you? Maybe I can just grab you. Well, not bad. Fish six anyway, though. We've, we finally have passed numbers of fish for numbers of spots the spots that we fished. Okay, buddy, it keep, keeps flopping on me. There you go. Crazy he could turn himself around now. We couldn't turn himself around when I was trying to get him before. That's weird. Oh, cold. We interrupt this video for a special announcement. The boys at Frostbite just uh, got a hold of me and said, Clayton, we want to offer you 10% off for all of your viewers that watch your videos or follow you or everything like that. So in the description below in this video, there's a link to the Frostbite website, or you can use Clayton 10 as a code and you can get 10% off of your next Frostbite purchase. These last couple videos, I've been running pretty much mostly the Mr. Big and sorry, the Mr. Big and the Slugger. These are both the Medallion series. I love the Medallion series. Myself, although the burnt is an excellent rod too. Am I fogging up here a bit? I might be, but it's okay. We're going to go with it anyway. Like I said, Mr. Big and a slugger. Mr. Big slugger. Also, don't forget, Tantra 100s are in stock. And I might have put a big lake trout on the ice already with it in a video coming up after this video. So Clayton 10 or the link below in the description of this video. 10% off anything on the Frostbite website. Go pick, your up, go pick yourself up some new Frostbite rods. And the Danger 100s are amazing. Now back to the regular scheduled videos. I don't know how to do that infomercial stuff. Well, it's time for another spot. We're gonna go to spot six, I believe. Yes, we're gonna go to spot six. Okay, spot number six just gonna keep rolling 230 still got like five hours of fish maybe four and a half lots of time lots of time to make something happen oh oh just as i said that i got crushed <laughs> just as i said i was thinking about moving because i haven't had anything happen for a while this one's a little bit better i think i can't tell for sure I kind of killed his spirit anyway, though. I already got my auger on the, sh on the sled here because I was literally going to move right away. And I just had a mark come up and absolutely crush me. Like, like right there. I don't know what to think now. Maybe I'll stay just a bit longer, I guess. 
I think it's a little bit better. Yeah. No, it's got them hooked funny on the top of the head. Okay, okay, okay. Stop throwing water around, please. Now he's hooked from the side. Now he's not hooked. Now he's just wrapped. Like I said, just about to move. And oh, oh, okay. They are slippery today. That'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. I was thinking about moving. Like I said, I already got the auger on here and I was just going to literally reel up right away and I had a mark pile up at me here and eat it. So we'll stay a little bit longer here. That's fish eight. Oh, got him. <laughs> had a mark follow me all the way down and then eat it pretty much, I don't know, about a foot off the bottom probably. Again, doesn't feel very big. Feels pretty head shaky. Feels pretty head shaky. But hey, it is what it is. He comes off right now. That's okay. He comes off. That's okay. Stuck here somewhere in the bottom of the hole, and here he comes. Okay, is this just the same one I just caught? Sure looks like it. Well, another one. Another little stocky fish. See ya, buddy. Okay, we didn't get too much wet that time. Nice. I am pretty impressed of the plastic quality of this. It's quite a few fish today, and uh, still got a tail. Speed up a little bit, but it's pretty good. Okay, let's make a move. We caught two more out of here, which we were almost ready to move anyway. So let's go try, let's go try something shallow. Like let's go try something really shallow and see what happens. Okay. This is gonna feel weird jigging in 18 feet of water, but we're gonna try it for a bit. What have you got to lose, right? Just gotta try some different things. Okay, let's make a move. I didn't have much confidence. 18 feet for the most part i usually like to be at least 30 feet or deeper not to say you're not going to score in the shallow water i'm going to try to do some stuff in the shallow water at some point i'm sure with the underwater camera and just sit there all day and wait for one one fish to cruise by hopefully a big one type of thing but it's i'm not feeling it today we're gonna we're gonna move on let's do what let's do what let's get a big one Very happy with this auger. Well, we have fished pretty hard today. Really hard. This is spot 10. And we have nine fish. I got confidence here though. So I'm already marking. Actually, I got confidence here because I think this was spot four of the day. I came back to it at the end of the day because to me it was the most promising out of all my spots. And I have about an hour and a half left of fishing. And I think this is where I'm gonna end my day. It's right here. Moved around lots. I haven't made any like giant moves. Like for the most part, I'm making fairly small moves. Like sometimes, sometimes three, 400 feet even. That's why I was sledding around without a helmet either, right? Like just when I was going 10 miles an hour to the next spot type of thing. So I haven't made any giant moves today. It's been small moves for the most part, kind of like leapfrogged the whole day. Tried a bunch of different depths. Fish for the most part just aren't super active, but it could change anytime, any second. There's gonna be a bite window for an hour or two. We're getting close to prime time, which of course is my favorite time not gonna lie it's been a very enjoyable day even though smaller fish i'm still learning some stuff today i'm finding some new structure some new area i've drilled lots of holes and it's been enjoyable like look at i fished in uh with no gloves all day any day you can fish with no gloves outside all day ice fishing is a good day oh there's a mark flashing in here I think it's a little guy though. Oh, does he have my bait? He had it. <laughs> I was like, how come there's no weight? Man, that's the kind of mood they've been in though. Like, it hasn't been 
hard, hammering them. They're just slurping them in. Because all of a sudden I'm like, how come there's no weight on the end of my rod? Easy. Let's get you untangled here first. <laughs> here. Look how big he is. Rawr, rawr, rawr. It's tiny. I wonder I didn't feel him either. That's a big meal for you, my friend. Nothing wrong with the numbers day to day. Just no monsters yet. Well, finally. 10 fish, I think. I finally got the tail bit off. That's pretty good. So normally when you catch fish, when you catch small fish like I have today, those are usually the ones that bite the tail off. So that's really good that it lasted that long, to be honest. It's chasing, here it comes. Here it comes. Got him. Got him. It's not very big, it's small. It's small. It's small. It's small again. Hey, it is what it is. Today is the day of small ones. Small ones, look at that. Like, like tiny ones, like I'm catching the runts. The runts of the runts. You can turn yourself around. You can do it. You can do it. There you go, buddy. See ya. See ya. I haven't seen a big mark today, to be honest. So I'm sure when I see one, like I'll know it'll like instantly I'll just be like, that's a big mark. Today it's like some of them have felt good when I first set the hook, but there's just been nothing, no drag screaming, nothing today like that at all. Just small ones, like lots of small fish today. Biggest fish was probably like 27, 28 inches. Okay, uncle. Never got her done today for big fish or any fish of any size, really. 27, 28 was the biggest of the day. Around there, I really thought today was gonna be the day. I really did. But that's just the way it goes. I had fun. I learned some, in, I learned some stuff today. Fish some new areas. Fish some interesting structure. Hopefully you're able to learn something from today. It's probably not very educational, but none of my videos are supposed to be always super packed full of information. Just a few tips, tricks, every video. Maybe a different lure that I've never fished before or something you've never used, but anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, get outside. My heart's a stereo. Listen up and listen close.